In this video, I'm going to show you how to scan a round item. I'm using this top to a thermos. I'm going to show you what normally happens and what you need to do to fix the problem. If you're attempting to scan an item with low features, most of the time you'll see it spinning out of control like this. There's nothing wrong with the scanner. It's simply the fact that there's not enough features for the software to track. So what you want to do is add more features to it. As you can see, there's no hole in the top of the lid. That's because the scanner saw it and it just spun it around. But I'm going to show you how to correctly scan this. I'm going to use what I call the towel trick. You simply take a towel and place it under the item or next to it. Just fold it up some that way. You get more features so the scanner can track them. And here I go. I'll start to scan again. As you can see, it's not spinning because the towel is creating extra features for the scanner and software to track. And you can just go ahead and scan your item as you normally would scan. Okay, the scan has finished. This is how it looks unprocessed. I didn't worry about scanning the backside, just using this as an example. We'll go ahead and fuse the scan. And there the scan came out great. I'll go ahead and do the isolation tool just to remove some of this noise. And that looks nice. You can see the two holes on top. This right here is the first scan that spun around. I'll go ahead and process that so you can see what that looks like. And as you can see, you can't see the holes on top and you see the spiraling line. That's because the scan just spun around. It was losing tracking. This is the second method. You're going to want to add extra features to the item that you're trying to scan. Right here, I simply place a couple of figures around the item. This way, there'll be extra features to track. And what you want to do is simply scan everything as a whole. Don't focus too much on just the item, but focus on scanning everything together because you're using the extra items for tracking. And as you can see, there's no spinning. Everything is tracking good. I'll just go ahead and finish the scan and show you it. So there you have it, you have the item that's been scanned. From here, you can go ahead and trim out all the excess. I'm just using the lasso tool to highlight my item. Then I'm using the invert tool to invert it and then delete. And from here, I just trim the bottom. A good tip is to place your item off of the table. That way it makes it easier to trim the bottom. And there you have it. You're able to scan an item that was very low on features. I hope you enjoyed the video. I plan to make some more. If you have any suggestions, just leave them in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching.